So here in section one, we're going to talk about the concept of uncertainty. And, and I like to start with a, a quote that I've taken from a paper by Dorian and Staub that is from, they're from NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, which is the national laboratory in the United States. And they quote this as saying, this is probably about the best uncertainty statement that never came out of, of NIST, because NIST apparently has some editors that have to check those things before they're allowed to go out to the public. But this is a Dr. C.H. Myers who's reporting on his measurement of the heat capacity of ammonia. And Dr. Myers started by saying, we think our reported value is good to one part in 10,000. And if you look at it, it's, a, it's, it's sort of a loose language. It's we think there, there isn't much substance. And although those kinds of statements are often delivered with a lot of confidence, it, the, statistically, this is what we call a statement with low confidence. But you can sort of imagine it's sort of, I usually compare it to the story about the fish that got away. Oh, it was this big. And you can sort of see them sitting down there at the scientist's bar and grill outside Washington, D.C., when this is located. So Friday afternoon, talking about measurement. It's a happening place. And they talk about their measurement. And, well, we think our value is good to one part in 10,000. So it's, it's sort of that kind of relatively loose statement. It's what we would like to believe, but we don't really have much to back it up with. If we go to... Then he continues to say, we're willing to bet our own money at even odds that it's correct to two parts in 10,000. So now we're getting serious. Now, now, now there's money on the table. And if we interpret this a little bit, then we can say, well, he's probably a smart guy and, and smart guys don't like to lose their money. And if you bet your own money at even odds on something that has a less than 50% probability of coming true, then in the long run, you're going to lose your money. So we can interpret this statement as saying this, he believes that there's at least a 50% probability that it's correct to two parts in 10,000. And then finally, he goes on to say, furthermore, if by any chance our value is shown to be an error by more than one part in a thousand, we're prepared to eat the apparatus and drink the ammonia. Those are some, some fairly serious consequences. And, and uh, I don't know about you, but if it were me, I would want there to be, I would probably not be comfortable with a 1% chance of having to eat apparatus and drink ammonia. So we can say that this statement has a very high confidence level. He's really willing to put something behind this. And so I, I would say that this probably is a statement that says there's very high probability, much higher than 99% probability that it's correct to one part in a thousand. And so this shows us something about the nature of uncertainty, that, that an uncertainty statement always comes with a confidence level or a coverage level, as we also call it. And so as we go from the, the, the low coverage, the low confidence, the one we get a low value, the one part in 10,000, when we get to the medium level here, about 50%, it says two parts in 10,000, so we get a higher value. And then when we want a very high probability that we're correct within that claim, the number also gets higher. So, so there's this statistical nature of uncertainty that, that we have to consider.